What's your self talk? Jabari is here again. Thank you for being here. So, if you're new to this, this is just my weekly show that I do. And I ask that question What's your self talk? Because I want you to embrace this growth mindset over a fixed mindset. And you have a choice every single day to decide which way you choose to go. Uh, so, today, I told you I wanted to talk about differences and how, if we let them, can build self-limiting beliefs. Now, I'll go into differences in a minute and let you understand what I mean, but when you say self, that means you. Limiting, that means you put a limit, and it means that you build a belief about whatever it is. And it can come from differences. So this, this conversation for me that I'm having with you is just kind of something that I've just really just been experiencing. You know, life happens and life happens fast. And I realize that I do very well at explaining that out loud. I can do it when I'm writing sometime, but I want to make sure I explain it well. So thank you to one of my sponsors, Transcend, for making sure they sponsor this show. Uh, they do a great job with just supporting who I am and what I want to represent. So let's talk about differences. What do I mean when I say differences? So differences can mean, for me, so I grew up a uh, divorced household. Okay, so mom and dad wasn't together. And so that means I live with my mom, I live with my dad, and that created, you know, a unique environment to even grow up in. Uh, let's, let's fast forward a little bit further. I played football the majority of my life, first half of my life at least. So that made me make all my decisions and my mindset behind it was thinking that, you know, I can make it to the NFL. That I think a lot of kids who grow up in a maybe similar environment like me believe. And from there, I used to always think that that was the only way I can go. You know, football was the only way that I can go. So I may be different from you because maybe my upbringing, you know, not having a mom and dad at home. It can be the fact that I chose to believe that NFL was the route that I would go to make it in this world. Um, and some other differences can be simple like, you know, I, I, I'm black or my age or my education level and my job, you know, my title, or my husband, um, yours can be a parent. Your, it, it, differences for everybody they can go endless, okay? I just want you to, I just want to, I just list off a lot of other ones that maybe you don't relate with, but you listen in and it's like, well, what do you mean by differences? Differences is just like, you may, you may look completely different to me in that age, it says color of your skin, that is um, what you believe or whatever. So that that's what all I mean by differences, okay? Don't add nothing else to it. Just say, okay, that's different, okay? You are, you're different. Well, Easy, I'm 30, you're what age, okay? So that makes you different. All right, not good or bad, this different. Now, this is how I found out, like, if you allow it to, remember, if you allow it to, I need you to catch that point. If you allow it to, you can start building in what I call self-limiting beliefs. So what do I mean by that? Well, first... I want you to understand this this one has came from just a series of just, you know, things happening, reflecting on life. And I had a, a great mentor I had a real deep conversation with and really just kind of popped my head up, to, popped me upside my head and just, it kind of clicked a little bit more. But, so let's go to my example of growing up with, you know, mom and dad being divorced. So if both my mom and my dad me growing up in that type of environment, if I let it, and maybe I did, I haven't made that connection with, but just I'm telling you this for example's sake. So if I let it, I can, since they were divorced, I could have set a limit on myself and say, well, based off the differences that I grew up in, I didn't have both a mom and a dad in a home, they were divorced. Uh, a limit I could have put on myself saying, well, I'm meant to, you know, not have a healthy marriage. You got me? So, maybe the next example for me was me playing football 
and uh, I belief that I put on myself, and I know this was big, big for me years, years ago, and uh, I accepted a lot more than I did then, but, you know, a self limit that I put on myself was that I could only play football, and that's the only way I can make it in this world. I can't do anything else. I can't be a speaker. Who are you to talk? You don't have proper grammar. You don't have this and this and that. Other stuff doesn't agree. Okay. Stay with me. I won't try to jump off too much. I know I have a tendency to do that. But, so, football was my way of making it out of my environment or just making it in this world. So, when I stepped out and realized that is not the way that I want to make it in this world, and I made that choice. Now, when I look back, I'm like, oh my goodness, I'm now supposed to be this business guy, I'm supposed to be this, you know, successful guy or whatever, and now I'm feeling that I can't do it, because if I allow my self-limited belief to come in, I'm going to say, well, I was only supposed to be here, and it was his fault, it was my fault, it was, I believe this, whatever, it's mom, dad, fault. I can blame whatever, it can be true, it can not be true. But if I blame that circumstance, situation, then and then I don't do anything, then guess what? That is a self-limited belief I'm putting on myself. Because I am simply saying is that because of whatever um, situation or thing that has happened to me, that that is the one thing that won't allow me to get to this next level. Or whatever that next level is. So for me, it was to get into the business world and, and be very successful, even more successful as I was in the football industry. And so I had to wrestle with that. And if I had to wrestle with that, then it was because it was a belief. It was a deep, deep belief that said inside, hey, Jabari, you're only supposed to be a football player. You can't speak. You can't encourage people. You can't step in front of a stage and tell people to do this and be this and have this, be, do, have. And so that that's that can be, you know, that self-talk, right? That's why I talk about what's your self-talk because I want you to capture that. Capture what your self-talk is and then realize where did it come from? So mine will come from the fact that I believe, my belief that I put on myself and my limit I put on myself self-limiting beliefs was that football was the only way that I was supposed to make it all right so even for you know growing up in a divorced household now this one I've I've seen myself just over the years just really break this but if I grew up in a divorced household that means that if I chose to set a limit on myself in my beliefs when it comes to marriage then what does that mean that means that my limit was if my parents were divorced, the best that I can ever make it is to have a, you know, live my life just like they did. And that's the best that I, the best I can make it is eventually having a divorce. And, you know, that that's my limit. I, I, I'm not supposed to have a successful marriage. I'm not supposed to have this. Um, so that can be, and that could have been my personal self-talk. And that was all come from Maybe the fact that I grew up in this environment, and it may be different from you, doesn't matter. Um, but I put this self-limiting belief on myself. Makes sense? I hope it does. And the reason I even share that with you today is because I believe we can confuse the two. And you know, as I even talked through it, I wanted to make sure that it made sense. So this is a real, this is just a video that I really want you, it's an episode that I really want you just to listen to again and maybe ask me questions. You know, say, you know, maybe I did grow up, maybe I don't have a father at home, or maybe I didn't graduate from college, or maybe I only have a GED. Maybe all those things are true, but you have this, this thing that you want to do, this thing you want to accomplish, but you have because of how you're different from maybe what other people look like in the industry that you want to be in, you may in some way, form, or fashion is, you may be setting some way, in some way, form, or fashion, you may be setting some type of self-limiting belief, saying that you can't 
go to that point because of I didn't graduate or because of I didn't see this or because of you know I'm you know, this this and that it, it can be endless things right so I want you just to reflect on life and that's what I'm doing this is simply just a reflection on what I've seen in my life build up to but just over this last week just really reflect like how can I grow how can I inspire people how can I come to you and every time I turn on this camera or every time you see me that I am giving you something that you can take that you can grab and that you can apply to your life because that's why I'm here I'm here to encourage to motivate and inspire you to move past all those excuses move past those self-limiting beliefs it's a journey it's not nothing that's always easy and Let's be honest, if it was easy, everybody would be doing it. So I hope that was helpful for you today. We just talked about differences in self-limiting beliefs, and I just gave you my example. And make sure you can distinguish the two and understand how you're in more control than you really are now. Understand there's emotions that are tied to how you feel and how you, you know, when you're wanting to strive out and become something more than where you're at right now. That, for some, that's easy. For some, that's difficult. So for me, it can be difficult on certain areas. So thankful for this talk that I had with a great, great mentor today. Um, gosh, just a lot of wisdom built in there and was delivered great. And I hope and pray that I can be able to speak to you through this camera or even on stage or on one-on-one -on -one -on -one sessions or just what in ever se whatever setting or whatever I bring to you on social media to just be who you are called to be and being your best self and it's possible and I'm a walking testimony so thank you for watching go and take charge of your life